The following program is paid for by friends and partners of Andro Sakwe Ministries International. Isaiah 9 verse 6. But for unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. That's another story. And the government will be upon his shoulder. Come. Unto us a child is born. Then the child became what? Grew up. Sons are not born. Sons are given to their generation. Then it says, the government will be upon his shoulder. The government will be upon where? His shoulder. He's the head. Where the body? Where does the shoulder belong? Head or body? So the government will be where? Upon the body. What's the government? The dominion. We dominate for him. Some of you are waiting for God to come down from heaven and dominate for you. That's not how it works. You take charge, you move, and he backs you up. What you bind on earth is bound in heaven. What you loose on earth is loose in heaven. That's how it works. You take dominion. Thank you, sir. Next verse. Of the increase of his government, there shall be what? No end. We're not restricted to time. Neither are we restricted to space. Matthew 28, verse 16. Then the eleven disciples went away into Galilee to the mountain which Jesus had pointed for them. Now, now watch this. These guys are still called disciples. But they're disciples with, with a difference. Because this is now after the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Which means they are now born again. They weren't born again before. So there's some things he couldn't tell them before. But now he can because they're not just disciples. They're disciples with a difference. They're now sons of God who are also disciples. You're first of all a child of God before anything else. You're first of all a child of God before a servant. Does that make sense? We should serve. Responsible children of God serve. It's your reasonable service. Reasonable. Are you still here with me? When they saw him, they worshipped him. But some doubted. Next verse. And Jesus came and spoke to them saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and earth. Come. I love this. This is amazing. All authority in heaven and where? Earth has been given to me. Then he turns around and makes an amazing statement. He says, go. Now, this doesn't make sense unless you have revelation. Because if he's telling me all authority in heaven and earth is given to me, then you go now. You said a gift to you. Now you're telling me to go. Which means there's something else I must understand. What did we arrive at last week? We're joint heirs. Whatever was given to him was given to you. So we're not restricted, thank you, to space. Heaven and earth. Heaven and earth. Heaven and earth. Not just earth like the first Adam. So the question is this. How did Jesus establish his dominion simple one word conquest someone say conquest he came and conquered he conquered and then gave you the victory Luke eleven nineteen, Jesus was casting out demons he just said out and moved on hallelujah no time to waste so they now said he's casting out demons by Beelzebub that's the king of demons. That li li it literally means lord of the flies. Jesus now answers. If I cast out demons by Beelzebub, by whom do your sons cast them out? Wow. That's an indictment. Because they were coming to perform exorcisms, but not in the name of Jesus. So what are they using? Therefore, they will be your judge. Next verse. But if I cast out demons with the finger of God. You see, when it comes to demons, you see the Bible talks about the hand. Talks about the elbow. Talks about the arm, upper arm, and the finger. When it comes to demon, always use his finger. God uses finger for demons. Why are we glorifying them? God goes, and the demon leaves. Praise the Lord. 
That means the smallest member of the body of Christ. Praise the Lord. He says, if this is the case, if this is happening from the finger of God, then surely the kingdom of God has come. It has come. Someone say it has come. Say it has come. Say it has come. Next verse. He says, when a strong man, fully armed, talking about Satan, before he went to the cross. When a strong man, fully armed, guards his own palace, the goods are in peace. Next verse. But when a stronger, then he comes upon him and overcomes him, overcomes him. He takes from him all his armor. We saw this in Colossians 1.13. He stripped him. He stripped him. In which he, he trusted and divides his spoil. Glory to God. Does that make sense? For more of Dr. Andy's messages and books, visit our website at www.thesummitbc.org. Thank you.